Hi guys, long time no see. I've not filmed a video in, I think it's about a month actually. Um, I've been a bit hit and miss with blog posts as well because I've been a little bit poorly so bear with me while I try and get my mojo back. Um, yeah, I'm going away soon so I'm going to try and get some videos pre-filmed and get them uploaded. Fingers crossed I go away next Friday so hopefully I'll have enough time over the weekend to get everything all set up and ready for the month ahead that I'm away. So I have a bit of a belated, um, no, I was going to say November favourites, it's not November favourites, that'll be next month, it's October favourites, yes, so I need to just like chill and let you guys know what it is that I've been enjoying this month. So let's start with the wackiest, <laughs> yeah, wacky, um, of the favourites and these are called full lips and basically what you do is you stick your lips into these little plastic devices and suck basically <laughs> yeah so the three different shapes that they come in you've got a round one and you've got a sort of like long ways one and then you've got one that's kind of in between and basically what you do is you keep them on your lips there's actually a reason behind this I'm getting there <laughs> and you kind of like suck gently and do it in like 30 second bursts and yeah you kind of build up over time and basically your lips get much bigger and much fuller um i've not done it today so my lips are not a great <laughs> not a great example but i'll insert a little picture here of sort of like the progress of my lips when i first got it so basically these are an absolute genius idea they're amazing they don't hurt at all they might dry your lips out a little bit but that's what sort of lip balm's for. <laughs> so I've been using these kind of all different shapes because I literally don't have a top lip. And it's just non-existent at all. And that's why I don't really smile a lot in pictures, which look, makes me look kind of grumpy. I'm not a grumpy person. Um, but basically, like whenever I smile, especially my lip just disappears completely. Um, so I need all the help I can get, of course. Um, and, you know, without going to the next level, which is Botox and getting fillers and things like that I thought I'd try these out um, and they're great you know it's temporary of course um, but your lips do sort of swell and if you use them quite a lot your lips will sort of generally stay a lot plumper um, for a longer period of time so the longer that you use the sort of full lip sucker things <laughs> um, sort of the longer the effect will be um yeah i'll link down below to the company and their website and like everything on there so they're amazing you can get them off ebay through their ebay store so they do ship to the uk as a us firm but they're just amazing and they're just great to sort of like i'm definitely going to take these on holiday with me which sounds really peculiar but i just want to see how they work like when it's in like extreme heat but yeah i'll be having a review of these coming up on my blog hopefully over the month that i'm away and you guys can see sort of more in depth there on how my lips have sort of gone with it but i'll link down below um shan xo's video where she reviewed these and you can definitely see a difference in her lips and her lips are beautiful anyway so craziness out of the way we're gonna go into skincare so i only have one skincare item this month and it's the only one, only one really that i've sort of added into the mix recently and it is the body shop vitamin e ear e ear <laughs> vitamin e um overnight serum in oil which looks like this that's quite bright um basically this stuff is like amazing skin in a bottle and how many times do you hear that you hear it all the time but i promise you this stuff is so so good i have oily well like normal to oily skin i get like an oily t-zone i'm always powdering so um you know i don't have particularly dry skin so let's just put that out there this is probably more catered to our drier skins but your skin can always be dehydrated no matter what kind of skin type you have so I picked this up um, a few weeks ago and I've been using it every night I struggle with serums and oils because I find that they can be a little bit overwhelming and um, they sort of end up overloading my face and the greasy or if I put a tiny bit on it doesn't really sort of replenish my skin at all I don't have that problem with this I do three nice little drops sort of massage it into my hands and then sort of pat it into my skin and instantly I can feel that it's like hydrating and making my skin a lot plumper and just like in better condition and it's it's I can't really explain like the science behind it because I'm not that bright but 
it just sort of seems to give my skin a really good boost and it's keeping spots at bay, I don't know whether it's a serum or what but it's like adding this into the mix on an evening has made such a difference to my skin. I feel like I don't have to worry when I get up in the morning, I don't have to worry that I'm looking fatigued or you know anything like that, my skin just looks really vibrant, plumped up and just really really healthy which is what you want from your skin, you want your skin to look good and I'll be honest, I've always been blessed with quite good skin. I feel so, like my skin's never really looked better. And on a like when I wake up in the morning, I can feel how amazing my skin is. And also, there's no residue left over, so I know that it's been absorbed into my skin or my pillow. <laughs> but I think it's my skin because my skin is feeling good. So, yeah, I think this is about £13. Definitely, definitely worth a little look and a purchase because at the moment, the body shop is killing it with their skincare launches and line and everything. So definitely worth a shot and also I recommend their chamomile range which is beautiful especially when it comes to cleansing so definitely give that a little look. On to hair and again only one thing which I actually think I featured in a favourites video before but I've gone and got the full size so yeah basically it's the Bumble and Bumble surprise surprise hairdressers invisible oil heat UV protective primer which I got the full size for when I go away and this stuff is amazing like you spray it in your hair and it protects from the heat it pre protects from the sun's rays but not only that it detangles and adds condition back into the hair it's kind of like protection and prevention all in one bottle and it smells pretty good too. There is a new shampoo and conditioner on the range which I've tried the little sort of mini travel size and I'm quite liking them but I'm not at the point where I want to buy the full sort of set because I'm trying another shampoo and conditioner at the moment that's more expensive and hopefully that will feature in next month's favourites we'll see but this is so good and I think it's about £18, £19 for a massive 250ml bottle which is going to last me a long time and I've had it for about a month or so and it's still going strong, I've hardly used any of it and it's going to be an absolute lifesaver when I go on holiday I need to make sure my hair's protected, you can use it wet or dry so you can use it if you're on say second day hair and you want to add some curls in you can use that as far as a heat defence and it just works brilliantly Shall we go on to makeup? Because that's pretty much the bulk of this video. So the first thing I'm going to say that I've really, really enjoyed using is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. I've just got a small sort of travel size one here. I've been using this on my bottom lashes and it just gives such good bottom lashes. Like, they're quite hard to go by because sometimes you can get a bit gloopy and overload the lashes or you can't get any definition at all. This is bang smack in the middle. It gives you really, really good definition that lasts all day. It's got quite a small sort of like tapered um, wand and it's great for sort of more natural sort of top lashes but I'm not really a natural top lash kind of girl so unless it's Sunday it's not hitting my top lashes. I absolutely love this, my bottom lashes doesn't smudge and it just adds really nice doll like definition and hopefully you can see that today. On to a concealer and I bought this concealer quite a while ago but didn't really kind of use it very much because it was an expensive buy and sometimes you can feel guilty you can get sort of buyer's guilt and kind of leave it in a drawer somewhere for a little bit but I got over that very quickly um recently and it is the By Terry Touche Velute High Concealer Brush Ultra Smooth Full Coverage and it's one of these click pens with a little brush it smells amazing but it's not just like Touche Claire no no it's better than that this stuff is amazing. It's basically a concealer, obviously. It's probably got a bit, a little bit more highlighting qualities that I mainly use this for my under eye and sort of like areas that I want to highlight sort of down this little area. And it's the creamiest, smoothest application. It's almost as good as my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is the smoothest, best, long-lasting concealer of all time. I do need to buy a third one of that. But this is just great and I've been using this pretty much every day for ages and it seems to be lasting quite a while and I feel like I've still got loads left so maybe it's worth the £35 that I paid for it. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. Should we talk about a really good lip launch? I think we should. I'm not wearing it today, which doesn't help. <laughs> but L'Oreal, I just absolutely love these. And it is the L'Oreal collection, the, the Pure Reds collection, and these are the Blake and Julianne 
so Blake Lively and Julianne Moore lipsticks and they are red which isn't really my thing but I'm kind of getting into it quite a bit the my favorite one's probably Julianne's because it's a little bit more orangey and a bit brighter but I think I've worn this in a like a video before but I've definitely got a post which I'll link down below to both of them and they smell like palm violets which I just absolutely love but this one's kind of like more of a bright slightly orange toned pop of red and they have a kind of satin slash matte finish and they last really really well on the lips as well and then Blake's one is a bit more of a traditional sort of you know red and I don't really know what's happened here but it's kind of got a bit marked but they're not that expensive so it's fine oh it smells so good and yeah that's a bit more of a like sort of standard red um that's like a bit darker and a bit more sort of rich rather than the other one being a bit more orange and vibrant so I don't know what to do for which order to do my last two picks in because let's be honest they're both pretty darn awesome so the first one I've actually had for about two weeks and it probably hasn't really covered hardly any of October but it deserves a mention nonetheless and it is the NARS doo -doo -doo -doo, virtual domination palette hubba hubba can't get over how gorgeous this is oh, oh I love it so much um last year I got the NARS one night stand blush palette this year I've got this one Christmas NARS all over it and it is the most beautiful palette that is perfect for travelling and will definitely be coming away with me. And it has, what I think the best part of this palette is compared to the one last year is that the bronzer is huge. Like you need a good size Laguna bronzer for your palette. And then you get, um, the one here is Deep Throat, which I just, is my favourite Nars blush. It's got the best name as well, let's be honest, Smutty Girls. And then we have, a, one of these is Final Cut and one of them is Sex Fantasy love the NARS names for stuff it's so cheeky and then the highlighter is the Miss Liberty one which is a really nice very subtle actually um sort of golden color that just adds kind of it's slightly peachy in itself and it's just a really nice shade this is amazing it has a really big mirror and if you're gonna get anything from NARS at Christmas make sure it's this beautiful palette it's 45 pounds yes but you get three blushes, a highlighter and a pretty darn big bronzer so you're actually saving quite a bit there as well look at me justifying a NARS purchase don't even need to justify it's amazing the last thing is a book which I've kind of read like a third of and I'm kind of saving it till my holiday like when I'm on the plane but it's by Sally Hughes and it is Pretty Honest which is the straight talking beauty companion and I love beauty books I'm always wanting to expand my knowledge and learn more um, sort of beauty tips and tricks and things like that especially when it comes to like skincare and things like that so I'm really really enjoying this but what I'm enjoying most is that it's actually hysterical um, some of the stuff in it just really makes me chuckle so it's kind of like how to deal with salespeople um, you know what works for skincare what your skin type is but there's so many little things in there that are just literally the funniest thing and when you're a beauty junkie like myself you kind of it's kind of like that level of humour like if you're not into beauty you won't find it funny um, but I'm really really enjoying this book and um, yeah I just I'll I just I'm really enjoying it and I kind of want to finish reading it but I'm kind of trying to stop myself because I kind of want to read it on the plane and stuff and I'll probably be on my flight like snorting to myself like <laughs> thinking it's really funny so yeah that is everything and this was the most ridiculously rambly video and I apologize for that it's because I'm quite tired my throat's really sore and I haven't spoken to you guys in so long so I feel like I've got to get everything out and I need, I need to now take a breather and just go watch some football or something so i'm gonna go now and yeah thank you so much for watching if you managed to get this far without thinking she's totally off her tits um which i'm not at least i don't think i am <laughs> and yeah if you really enjoyed this video which hopefully you did you'll give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed i would love it if you did that i I'm edging so much closer to getting to 2000 subscribers which to me is absolutely insane like I can't believe that my little channel's like growing so well and it's just amazing so before I get a bit soppy I'm gonna go but if you haven't already subscribed I'd love if you would and leave me any comments below and I will see you guys in my next video bye